FOX 4 NEWS OBTAINED COURT DOCUMENTS WITH NEW DETAILS ON THE MURDER OF A DALLAS DENTIST AT HER LUXURY APARTMENT BUILDING. 23-YEAR-OLD DENTAL ASSISTANT CRYSTAL CORTEZ REMAINS THE ONLY PERSON ARRESTED FOR DR. KENDRA HATCHER'S DEATH. FOX 4'S JAMES ROSE IS IN OUR NEWSROOM TONIGHT WITH WHERE THE INVESTIGATION MIGHT GO FROM HERE. JAMES. Well, Heather, Dallas police say there's nothing more to report today. Fox 4 News obtained court documents showing what was taken from the victim's home and from the home of Dr. Hatcher's boyfriend's ex-girlfriend's home. Former prosecutor and criminal defense attorney George Milner reviewed the public documents Fox 4 News obtained in the capital murder of Dennis, Dr. Kendra Hatcher. Police believe she was ambushed, shot to death, and robbed in the garage of her luxurious uptown Dallas high-rise last week. I've never heard of it. Um... You know, if somebody commits a robbery and a murder beside a car belonging to the victim, you don't need a search warrant to go looking in that car for evidence. I mean, I guess they're trying to be overly cautious. The warrant for Dr. Hatcher's apartment shows police were looking for everything from fingerprints to DNA, guns, bullets, and cell phones, but the only things listed as being taken from her apartment is documents. The evidence recovered from Dr. Hatcher's car has not yet been disclosed. The apartment of the ex-girlfriend was also searched. Just on these probable cause affidavits, what's been publicly released, I don't think there's sufficient evidence to uh, arrest her. I'd say it's close. The warrant on the ex-girlfriend's apartment covers six sentences of items police were looking for. Firearms, computers, electronic devices, bloody clothing, and items belonging to Dr. Hatcher. The only thing listed as being seized? A notebook computer. I cannot imagine that they conducted a search of this woman's apartment and took nothing but a computer. Miller says he understands the worldwide media attention of the case because it's filled with speculation of murder for hire, a twisted love triangle, and beautiful women. Yeah, the trifecta all rolled up into one right here in beloved Dallas, Texas. Now, while Milner questioned the only items from the apartment of both women that were taken, he says digital forensics can be a very powerful tool in cases like this. Now, the ex-girlfriend has not been named as a suspect in this case. Now, the downside of those kinds of investigations, Milner says, is they often take time. He was also surprised the affidavit did not reference more information regarding the probable cause, the cause of the search of the ex-girlfriend's apartment. Heather? All right, James Rose in our newsroom tonight. Thank you.